John Cottrell here. This is Power Hour, a 60-minute power vinyasa yoga practice. So for our props today, I would suggest a couple of yoga blocks or just something that's stackable. That's all you'll need for this practice, really. Um, but if you like to use other things like a blanket or bolster or even a yoga strap, go ahead and grab those. Actually, a yoga strap could come in handy for this particular practice that we're doing today. So let me tell you what we're doing today. I'm calling this a dynamic leg work. So dynamic leg work. So I've got some, a flow that we're gonna be putting together, this nice vinyasa flow that has a variety of things that's gonna focus on some balance, some hamstring stretching, hip flexor stretches, so we're gonna get, get in some deep lunges. All right, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and begin our practice. So I invite you to stand nice and tall near the top of your mat with your feet about hip distance apart and your toes pointing forward and just standing nice and tall. You might start with a few deep breaths in and out. Breathe in through your nose. You can exhale through your nose or through your mouth. You can do that a few more times. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Just help settle into the space as you're arriving here and preparing for your practice. And then just continue with slow, steady breaths in and out. Very nice. You wanna breathe in a way so you can hear your breath and also breathe in a way that you can feel your breath. That feeling might be the expansion of your lungs as you inhale. Then as you exhale, you want to connect to your center, drawing your navel inward toward your spine. Again, a nice full breath in. You might feel yourself lifting a little taller through the spine. Fill up your lungs. And as you exhale, draw navel inward toward your spine. We're creating that abdominal lock. It's that light contraction of your abdominal muscles. Good, and we'll hold here. Just find stillness. Excellent. And again, as we move through our practice, it's a dynamic flow, focusing on our legs, different things we can do with our legs, nice extensions, balancing, hip flexor release. And always remember that this is your practice. If you need to modify any poses, please do so, or just pause and rest, or even do something different than I'm teaching. Let's take three more breaths together. Prepare your body to move. And when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Reach nice and high. We'll exhale and slowly fold forward. A good hinge from your hips, making your way down towards your toes. Then inhale, slide your hands up to your knees or thighs to extend your spine, a long flat back. Exhale, let's come back down to forward fold. Let's hold here for several breaths so we can begin that process of stretching and lengthening through the hamstrings. As you may notice, my knees are still slightly bent, but I can still feel that stretch in the hamstring. So if that feels best for you, bend your knees as much as you need to. And if it feels okay, just hang heavily forward here, getting that nice curvature in the spine that might help release your low back and hips a bit. You can even roll your shoulders, big circles with your shoulders. Roll them backward, roll them forward. Loosening up the neck a little bit. Nodding yes, shake your head no. We hold a lot of tension in our head, neck, and shoulders. So this is a good pose to be in to help release some of that tension. All right, ready to stand. Start shifting your weight back into your heels. Bend your knees, feel like you're gonna sit down into a chair. Extending your spine, looking forward. Take your arms out to the side, then stand up nice and tall. Reach up into the air, big stretch. Then exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Let's pause here. Take another breath in and out. Let's do that same sequence again. This is our half salute to the sun. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the air. Exhale, let's fold forward. Take your time, soft knees. Inhale, rise up halfway so you form that long tabletop crown of head leads forward. Exhale, forward fold. 
brief pause here. Then shift your weight back into your heels, bend your knees, look forward, inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way back up to standing, reaching nice and high. Exhale, arms down by your side. Let's pause here. Hold in stillness. Deep breaths in and out. Very good. Let's go ahead and continue adding on to our sun salutation. Remember to move at your own pace. Inhale, reach into the air for that nice side body stretch. Exhale, let's fold forward, making our way down. Take your time. Inhale, rise up halfway. Long tabletop, we'll call it monkey pose. As we exhale, bend your knees, let your back round so you can place your hands on the mat. Step both of your feet back into plank pose, a high push-up position. Hold for a moment as you breathe in. Then as you exhale, bend your knees slightly, send your hips up into the air, downward facing dog. We're going to hold here for a moment. Let's pay attention to the hands, so spread out your fingers pretty wide, and then press firmly into the mat. Just feel that energy, strength in your arms. And then a slight bend in the knees. That will give you a little bit more mobility in your hips as you send your hips up into the air and press your hands more into the ground. We get more lengthening of the arms and torso. Now with the legs and feet, you can pedal the feet here to get some stretch and lengthening through your calf muscles and maybe even your hamstrings too. So just pedal the feet. One heel presses down as the other heel lifts and then just alternate. Just like that. And then pause and down dog. We'll take a breath in. As you exhale, walk, step, or hop, both feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale to extend your spine. Exhale, fold. Shifting your weight into your heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Coming right back up to standing, reaching into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side. All right, we're going to continue right away into series B. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. This exhale, take chair pose, sitting back and down into the imaginary seat. Weights in the hips and heels. Inhale, reach out through your arms. Exhale, dive forward towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, long tabletop. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to the ground. Let's step back into plank pose, high push-up position right here. Take a breath in, more length in the body. As you exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards ribs as you lower your chest down towards the ground. Then inhale to upward facing dog, opening the chest facing forward, straight arms here. Exhale, tuck your toes, lifting the knees and hips up into the air, downward facing dog. Continue with the lunges. Let's inhale to extend right leg up behind you, reach. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel turns to the floor behind you. Hinge from hips, rising up, warrior one. And an exhale, let's open to warrior two. Let's just hold here for a moment. Good extension out through the arms, reaching. Let's go ahead and relax the arms. We're gonna hold our warrior two legs for a moment so we can get a little bit more into the legs. Let's do this. You're gonna creep the right foot forward just a little bit, once or twice, and then the same distance with the back foot. That's all. They barely moved, but that does take you a little bit deeper. We just wanna feel a little bit more stretch and release in the right inner leg here. Nice, strong, straight left leg, that even the outside edge of your left foot pressing into the ground. Let's come back to our arms, warrior two. We're gonna do a windmill, just bring this left hand up and over. Turn, let's bring the hands to the floor. Let's step back into plank pose. Bend elbows, lower your way down. Inhale, up dog, long legs, point your toes behind you. Exhale, onto your toes, lifting hips into the air, downward facing dog. Inhale to extend your left leg up, reaching long. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel turns to the ground, planted firmly. Then inhale to rise up, warrior one. And then exhale to warrior two. Let's settle into the pose. Arms extended, just for a second here. Go ahead and relax the arms as we focus on the legs, lower half of the body. Same thing, let's move the left foot forward a little bit, the right foot back a little bit, lunging a little bit deeper. Make sure the hips are nice and square, tailbone mostly pointing down. 
be aware of our alignment here, so our left knee and toes pointing directly forward. All right, extend the arms, warrior two. And then our windmill, right hand up and over, turn so you can bring both hands down to the ground. Let's slide the left foot back, plank. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog, well done. Okay, we're gonna go down to the floor. Now you can just kneel down to take a seat or hop forward, crossing the legs, taking a seat in the center of your mat. Go ahead and roll down onto your back. You're gonna lie down with your knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Let's just hold here for several breaths. So you can just feel this nice connection to the ground. Deep breaths here. You can even consider this a bit of a quick rest before we re-engage the body. All right, here we go. Inhale, let's fill up the lungs. Exhale, engage belly, lifting hips up into the air, moving into bridge pose, our back bend. With the upper body, if you're able, let's get the arms and shoulders a bit more underneath you. And as you can, squeeze your shoulder blades together to engage your upper back muscles. And then maybe bend your elbow so the backs of your arms are pressing down into the mat. That will help to lift and stabilize the body. Deep breaths here. And since there's going to be some leg focus today, be aware of the legs. Yes, this is a back bend, a heart opener, but pay attention to the legs here. As you press into the ground, you might feel your thighs engage and even underneath, hamstrings and glutes. And then step the feet a little closer towards yourself, rise up onto tiptoes and lift the heels. It lifts you a little bit higher. This is just now activating those calf muscles too. Just a few breaths. One more breath in and out. And then you'll step the feet forward so they're flat on the ground. Let's extend the arms straight up into the air and then roll your way down to the ground. Then go ahead and hug knees to chest. Carefully, slowly rock forward and back with a good exhale. Take your time with this. Rock your way up to seated so we can come to boat pose. So just lifting the feet. Shins might be parallel to the floor. Might even flex the feet to keep the legs strong. Holding on to the backs of the legs here to help lift yourself up so you have a nicely extended spine. Might even lift the chin slightly here too so the neck is also long and extended. Several breaths. Good core engagement. So an inhale to fill up the lungs. Nice expansion through the upper body. Exhale, draw belly in, engaging those muscles. Hold a little bit longer. If you'd like, you can continue holding on to the legs or release by reaching forward through the hands. Let's move here. Breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. Hold. Take a shortcut to down dog. Bend your knees, hips into the air. Okay, let's return to our lunge sequence. Here, inhale, extend right leg up. Let's open this up. You're going to bend your knee, bring your heel down towards backside, lifting the right knee up into the air, creating a bit of a hip opener. Next exhale, let's unwind it and step through. Right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel plants into the ground. Rise up. Inhale, warrior one, reaching into the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Settle in. Same thing. You might want to take the feet slightly wider. Lunge a little deeper. Right knee and toes forward, arms extended. Let's take this to side angle, so reach out. Rotate your arms, right arm reaching down, left arm reaching up into the air. Now you might start to feel a side body stretch, left side. Let's continue that sensation just by reaching over your head a little bit more like this. Really engage by extending and just notice that lengthening there too. All right, breathe in. Exhale, we'll turn. Let's bring the hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Another shortcut to down dog. Bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. Inhale, extend left leg up. And also bend and twist, sorry. Bring the heel down towards backside, lifting the knee. Hip opener. 
Next exhale, let's unwind it and step through. Left foot to the top, right heel to the floor, feel connected to the ground. Then inhale to float up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Settle in, a little bit more distance between the feet. There's our warrior two. We'll take our side angle, reaching out over that left thigh. Rotate the arms, reach down, reach up. Notice the initial stretch through the right side of the body, but then reach over your head a bit more, extend more, more lengthening through that right side. And breathe in. We'll exhale, carefully turn. Let's bring the hands back down to the floor. Step back, plank pose, hold. Here you're gonna bring your knees to the floor. Sit back into hero pose. Now we are gonna hold hero for a few seconds here. So you get a bit of a stretch through the thighs, your knees, down through the shins here, right to the ankles. If that's a little bit too much, you can always come forward onto your hands, maybe tuck your toes and just kind of sit back. Okay, but the same general idea of stretching through the thighs, knees, but not so much pressure on the ankles, a little stretch through the toes instead. Alrighty, a couple more breaths. Hero pose or your variation. And then we'll slide off the heels, just sit on the ground. Let's swing the legs around to the front here and extend the legs. Okay, let's come to staff pose. Just adjusting my mat here. Nice long legs. Flexed feet, hands on the floor by your hips. Just push into the floor to help extend the spine. If you can, roll your shoulders back, squeezing shoulder blades together. There's a bit of a lift sensation as you push into the floor. You're gonna feel like you're almost lifting yourself up off the ground. You're really just uh, uh, lengthening through the spine and torso. Hold here for a couple more breaths. We're gonna add on to this. Then we'll inhale, extend the arms straight up into the air. Exhale, start to hinge forward just a little bit and then just bring your hands down until they touch your legs. Inhale, keep extending through the spine at whatever angle you're in at the moment. Exhale, fold a little bit more. You might just step the hands down the legs. Notice this not only in your hamstrings, you might feel this in your back as well. If you can reach your toes, that's fine, but you don't have to touch your toes. Just wherever your hands are is perfect. It might be on your shins or near your ankles. Even up by your knees is good. Breathing. If you can, the legs can stay straight, but if you need to bend the knees or want to bend your knees, please do so. That might even allow you to fold a little bit more if that feels okay for you. All right, a few more breaths here. So part of our leg work. Three more breaths. All right, we're gonna inhale, reach up into the air, nice and tall through the torso. We have a nice L shape here. As you exhale, just bring your hands back down by your side. Brief return to staff pose, shoulders back, heart forward, gaze forward. Okay, and then release. Let's come to cobbler's pose. So we're just getting that stretch out of the hamstrings by bending the knees. Bring the soles of your feet together and just hold on to your feet or ankles. Again, we'll inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, hinge forward just a, a little bit. We don't have to go too far for this. Just a slight hinge forward until you start to feel that engagement or sensation in the inner thighs. Nice hip opener here, but you really don't need to go down too far. We'll hold here for several breaths. And when you're ready, just hinge your way back up, nice and tall. Start to lean back. As you're leaning back, bring your knees together, lifting your feet. Return to boat pose. Maybe holding on to the legs to help extend spine. There's our V shape. We're gonna move right away. Breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands out in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. We'll come down this time, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Straight leg, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. So all 10 toes are gonna to point forward. 
Heel is lifted behind you and then rise up. Okay, reach high, lunge low. To maintain balance, squeeze inner legs towards each other, like you're holding on to maybe like a beach ball between your knees. We're gonna do a little leg work here. Keep reaching high. Watch me and do this with me. You're gonna bend the left knee, going down a little bit, and then come back up. Two more times. Bend, you're gonna feel this in the thigh and hip flexor. One more time, just bend, come back up. Then open to warrior two. Let's set up for triangle. So you're gonna straighten the right leg. Let's extend and reach out over that right leg. Rotate the arms, right hand down, left hand up. A little bit more emphasis on the hamstring stretch. Good breathing here, especially when, when you're holding a posture like this one or any other. Just return to breath. To come out of the pose, we're gonna bend the right knee, come back up through a warrior two hold, warrior two actually, then our windmill. Up and over, down to the floor, step back, plank pose, come down, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing. Okay, other side, same thing. Inhale, extend left leg up, and exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. We're going to high lunge, shifting the weight back, all 10 toes pointing forward, that heel is lifted behind you. Reach high, lunge low. Hug to center line. That's the legs, belly, and even the arms. We're gonna do that same knee bend, right knee, as if you're gonna kneel, just go down, feel that in the leg and come back up two more times. Bend, feel that in the hip flexor, Come back up. That's strengthening and stretching that area. All right, once we're back up, we're gonna to open to warrior two and prepare for triangle. So straighten the left leg, reach out over that left leg, rotate the arms, here we are. Deep breathing. Even imagine you're sending that good quality of breath down through that left leg creating a little bit more space as it stretches. To come out of the pose, we're gonna bend the left knee, come back to warrior two, hold. Then our windmill, hands down to the floor, let's step back into plank pose, come on down. Up dog, and downward facing dog. Let's hold and down dog for a moment. and then walk, step, or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, monkey, or long spine. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, come up to standing, reach high. Exhale, arms down by your side. Very good. All right, we're gonna do a tree pose. Tree pose, of course, is a balancing posture, but let's also think of the, the hip opening quality of the tree pose. So standing nice and tall, balanced on two feet. Start shifting your weight into your right foot, root down into the floor. We're inhaling, lengthen spine. Exhale, draw belly in. Let's flip the left foot up. Maybe thigh is parallel to the ground, flex foot. Let's swing the knee out to the side, placing foot on the inside of the standing leg. So that's the hip opener right there. Then we'll inhale to take the arms up into the air. Good reach and stretch, kind of like that high lunge we did. Good action of reaching into the air. That's gonna lift the torso, providing a little bit more space in the hips, so this left knee can point towards the left side of the room. A couple more breaths. Keep the arms in the air. We'll swing that left knee forward, lifting the knee with a flexed foot. Plant the foot into the ground, arms down by your side. You can even roll the shoulders there just to shake out that energy. And let's do the same thing, other side. Shifting weight now into the left foot, press. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, draw belly in. Float right foot up, flexed foot for a nice strong steady leg. Here's the hip opener, knee out to the side, placing foot on the inside of your standing leg. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach up into the air, good extension, reach for the sky. Creating that space, and I even felt my knee point a bit more towards the side of the room, my hip opened a bit more. Find something to focus on out in front of you to help with that balance. Deep breathing. 
Oh, good. Let's keep the arms in the air. We'll swing the right knee forward now, lifting the knee with a flexed foot. Plant the foot into the ground. Arms down by your side. A little circle of those shoulders. All righty. This is where we're going to use those blocks or just something that you have that's stackable. That could be a couple of books if you have them. So I'm just going to get the blocks and just bring them kind of up near the top of the mat so we can easily get to them. Okay. Let me just tell you what we're going to be doing. We're just going to do a standing splits, just a variation of standing splits. So basically it's balancing on one foot while the other leg is in the air. Alrighty, mountain pose. Here we go. Inhale to sweep the arms into the sky. Exhale, swan dive. We're going to inhale to monkey, flat back tabletop. Exhale as we fold, let's bring those blocks in. So your hands or fingers can come onto the blocks, just for a little balance. Stay here in your forward fold, hands on stacked blocks. Start shifting your weight into your right foot, your right foot. Keep a slight bend in both knees. Inhale. But as you exhale, really pull belly button up towards spine and kind of round your back like you're doing cat pose. Once you've engaged that, pick up the left foot and extend it straight back behind you. All right. So we're almost there. We're going to see if this left leg can lift a little higher, but we need more space in our center. So let's inhale. You can even come up to fingertips on the blocks to help extend spine like you're trying to go forward and reach that left leg back. As we exhale, we tip, go down. Heart coming down, head coming down with that left leg, maybe lifting a little higher. I I've replaced my hands on the floor here. You can do that or keep the hands on the blocks. So we'll just use this as our variation of standing splits. Then bend the left knee. Bring that knee in towards chest, rounding the spine, kind of like that cat pose again. Plant the foot next to the, to the other. You can place your hands back up on the blocks. Inhale, re-extend spine. We're just going to go to the other side from here. Exhale, fold. Hold in your forward fold. Hands on blocks. Just use that for balance. Start shifting your weight into the left foot. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale. As you exhale, Imagine you're doing cat pose, pull belly button up towards spine, round your back. Keep that engagement as you pick up the right foot, extend it straight back. There's the balance. Let's see if we can take this more to standing splits. Inhale, extending spine. You might even come up to fingertips a little bit to help extend the spine and really reach back through the right foot. As we exhale, we tip. Heart and head come down a little bit. Right leg lifting a little higher. Just past parallel is fine. It's okay if that right foot doesn't reach for, for the ceiling, because mine certainly does not. It's just up, just past parallel. That's good. And then bend the right knee, bring it in towards chest, that cat pose, rounded spine. Place foot on the ground, balanced on two feet. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, fold. You can move your blocks out of the way. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Let's inhale, reverse the swan dive, come up to standing. Really reach high, even an extra hold and stretch at the top. Exhale, arms down by your side. Alrighty. Okay, we have a few more elements to add, so let's keep this moving. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take chair pose. Breathe in. Exhale, dive out of your seat, down towards toes, forward fold. Monkey pose, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, walk, step or hop, both feet back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, chaturanga, because you can always just take that shortcut to down dog. Long legs point to toes as you come to up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist open. We're going to unwind it, step through for warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor. Rise when you're ready. Take your time if you need to. Open warrior two. Hold. Okay, we're going to take this into a nice deep lunge. Reach out. Side angle. Right hand comes down. Left hand reaching up and overhead so we can get a side body stretch. Breathe in. As we exhale, turn. Bring both hands to the floor on the inside of your right foot. Rise up onto your tiptoes behind you and set the left knee down. 
This is going to allow us to actually move the right foot. Here's what we'll do. First, move your right foot over to the right edge of your mat. Creep the toes forward slightly so they're in front or ahead of the fingers and even turn the toes so they're pointing out at an angle. Then we can step the hands forward a little bit and everything kind of comes forward, just kind of sinking down into the hips right there. Push into the ground with the hands to lift and then pull as if you're trying to drag yourself forward. When you do that, at least for me, I feel that lengthening quality in the left hip flexor. Now you can stay up onto the hands or step hands forward slightly, bend elbows and start to lower your way down. If you can, they can come all the way to the ground or bring in those stackables again, your blocks or books. Let's see if I can do this, bringing forearms or elbows down to the blocks. Now we're gonna hold here. All right, so this is that leg work I was talking about. This is really one of our featured poses I wanted to do today. So left leg extending out behind us, we're getting into the hip flexor. Right leg, now it's out to the side and turned at an angle. That's gonna really allow you to get deep into that right hip area. Now we're gonna repeat that a little bit later when we come to the end of our practice and we do happy baby pose, you'll see and feel that the, the legs when we get into those postures will be very similar to what's happening to the right leg here. All right, three more breaths. Okay, if you made it down to the elbows, slowly, carefully come back up onto your hands. Just gonna move my blocks out of the way. Tuck your toes behind you, lifting the knee. Once the knee is off the ground, keep lifting so the hips are a little bit higher. Good weight in the hands. This should allow you to slide or step the right foot back into plank pose. And then you can come down, chaturanga. Up dog and downward facing dog. Okay, other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist. Opening up the hip, unwind, step through. Right heel presses into the floor. Inhale, right up into warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Side angle. Rotate the arms, left hand down, right hand up and overhead to get that lengthening through the right side, side body. Getting ready for that deep lunge, other leg. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll carefully turn. Bring both hands down to the ground on the inside of your left foot. Rise up onto your tiptoes behind you. Everything's facing forward now. And gently set the right knee onto the ground. And this is gonna allow us to move the left foot. So move it to your left to the edge of the mat or even off the mat slightly if you need to. Creep it forward so it's ahead of the fingers. And then turn the knee and toes so they're pointing out at an angle. That's gonna give you the space. Step the hands forward. Let the hips sink. That's our pose right there. But let's take this a little bit more. Let's make a little bit more space. Push into the floor with the hands, straight arms. Look forward and try to go forward as you exhale. That's getting into our hip flexor and the psoas even, okay? It's kind of a, some deep muscle tissue, part of the abdominal system. You can stay like this, or if you're able, come down a little lower, maybe to elbows if you can, but not necessary. And again, we're gonna hold. So again, when we get to happy baby pose, it's gonna be very similar to this. Really a great release in the hip joint area. And that right leg extending back behind us, right hip flexor release. We hold a lot of tension there, especially if you sit quite a bit. All right, two more breaths. You'll slowly come back up onto your hands. Move your blocks to the side if you're using them. Tuck your toes behind you, lifting the knee, and then start lifting your hips higher. That'll put more weight in the hands. That way you can start to slide and step that left foot back plank. Finish your push-up, come down. Up dog, 
and downward facing dog. All right, some more components. Let's bring ourselves down to our knees, hands and knees. I'm gonna face you for this, okay? And rise up. Now you can turn sideways too, just as long as you can see me, okay? You can be sideways on your mat, as long as you can see me. Okay, so we're on our knees. I want to lean over to my left side. You can place your hand on the floor or bring a block over, okay? Because you're going to extend the right leg out to the side like that. You're on the inside edge of the foot. And just stay just like this. So the pelvis is going to kind of push forward. Right arm up into the air. Nice extension. You can even reach over your head like so. Okay? We're going to call this gate pose, even though it's a side plank position. We're going to call this gate version one. We're going to come up. You have to use some good core strength. You can kind of come up like this, like you have warrior two arms, and then bring right hand to the leg, left hand up into the air, and start to reach over. Gate version two. So gate pose. The first one is more side plank, but I'm going to call it gate. Now this is how we'll get out of this pose. <clears throat> You're going to come up to onto the right foot, just bend the knee, pointing forward, and then bring hands to the floor, and this left foot is going to kind of swing back. So you're just kind of in this lunge right here, okay? Place the hands on the floor, and just step back to hands and knees, and then come back up, okay? I'm going to face you again. We're just going to do the other side. So I'm just going to lean over to my right, extend left leg. Basically side plank, but I'm going to call it gate version one. Reach up, overhead, side body stretch. So we're getting the left side. You can do this facing me. Or turn to the side, just make sure you can see me. Come back up or come up. Warrior two arms, left hand comes down, right arm up into the air, reach overhead and get the right side stretch. This is more of the traditional gate pose. All right, one more breath. Now that left leg that's extended, you're gonna bend the knee, turn the knee and toes so it's pointing forward. Turn, bring your hands to the floor. Let's align that back leg. So we're just kneeling, some weight in the hands, and just sliding this left leg back. Plank, or sorry, your tabletop. While we're here, just take cat and cow. Three more breaths. We have one more component to add. Come to a neutral tabletop position, tuck your toes, lift the knees and hips, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, extend right leg up, Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge, high lunge. Rise up here. Do what we did earlier, reach high, lunge low, hug to center line. We're gonna bend the left knee, go down, but come back up two more times, getting through that leg, hip flexor, and thigh. One more. Now we're gonna go down a third time, or sorry, a fourth time, but bring the knee all the way to the ground. Lengthen the foot behind you because you're going to sit back. This is our next component. Sitting back, we're going to call this half splits. So we're basically in a hero pose on the left leg while the right leg is extended. Inhale, I'm just pushing into the ground to get some extension through the spine. Hinge forward. And this is how we'll get out of this pose. The left hand, okay, okay, the one that's by the bent left knee here, kind of behind you, okay, because you're going to use that hand to help press yourself up, turning to your left, extending right leg out. It's basically that side plank pose or gate version one. Right here, come up, warrior two arms, right hand to right leg, left hand up into the air. Turn the right foot, bend the knee, hands to the floor, basically kneeling here. 
lift that back knee. Let's just step back plank pose. Bend both knees, hips to sky, down dog. Let's do the other side, same thing. Inhale, left leg into the sky. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Hug to center. Bend right knee, go down. Come back up. Two more times. Dip and up. Dip. This is great strength building. Now this fourth time we're going all the way down. Kneel, lengthen the foot, sit back, half splits. There, and if you can't go all the way down, that's okay. Just go partially down, just whatever feels okay on the knee and ankle. Hands pressing into the floor to get some extension through spine. Inhale, exhale, fold. That should start to show up in your left hamstring. Some nice deep breaths there. The right hand kind of behind you to help push yourself up, turning to your right, going to side plank or gate version one. Left hand up and overhead, reach. Lift torso, warrior two like, gate number two. Right hand up and over. Bend the left knee, turn forward, bring hands to the floor, align that back leg. Tuck toes, lift the knee, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Jump step or walk, both feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come up to standing. Reach up into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side. Well done. Alrighty. So that little con um, component there is a little complex, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna go through it one more time, slowing it down so we really get that sequence. We're gonna add on kind of the, the last part of that component and and I think we'll have our sequence together. I'm just adjusting my mat. Alrighty. So let's start in mountain pose here. Let's inhale, extend the arms up into the sky. Exhale, swan dive. Monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Come down, chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, extend right leg up. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge again. Okay, we're just going through this new segment once again, just making it flow. Reach high, lunge low, hug to center. Rather than the pulses, we're just gonna bend the left knee, come all the way down. Lengthen the left foot, sit back, splits. Okay, and maybe fold over that right leg. Left hand slightly behind you. Rise up, turn sideways, right leg extend, side plank or gate one, reach. Come up, gate two, reach. All right, we're bending the right knee, knee and toes pointing forward, hands to the floor, square out that back leg. Here's the new part. We're shifting the weight forward into the foot and hands so we can lift that back knee, lift the leg, Standing splits. That's how we're gonna get into the splits. Bend the left knee, bring it in towards chest, rounding the spine a bit. Place the foot on the ground, weights in the heels, come to chair pose. Stand up tall, extended mountain, and swan dive. Let's do the other side. Monkey, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, plank pose, come down. Up dog, and downward facing. Here we go, inhale, extend left leg up. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Reach high, lunge low, hug to center, bend right knee, come all the way down. Lightly touch, lengthen that right foot, sit back, half splits. Fold over left leg as you're able, feel that stretch. Right hand's behind you so you can press up, turning to your side here. Side plank, gate one. Up through warrior two arms, gate two. 
Bend left knee facing forward, hands on the floor, line that back leg. We're going to standing splits. Weight comes forward, big, pick up that back knee, press, lift, extend, reach. We're extending through the spine. That's gonna give us a little bit more space in the pelvis. Tip the scale, heart comes down, right leg goes up. Bend the right knee, bring it in towards chest or chin. Set the foot down. Balanced feet, weight in the heels, bend your knees, chair pose. Stand up tall, reach high, stay here, extended mountain. Reach a little higher, exhale, arms down by your side. Good. All right, so that's the second part of our sequence. Let's do the first part and put it all together. The first part is just gonna be those deep lunges. All right, and I think we'll have it. All right, do your best. If you need to modify any of those things, especially that half splits, that's fine. You can even skip it all together. All right, get a sip of water. I'm adjusting my mat because it likes to move. Mountain pose. Let's just pause here, take a couple breaths. Here we go, inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the floor, walk or step both feet back, plank come down, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. Hip opener. Right foot to the top of the mat. We're going to warrior one now. Left heel plants into the floor. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. This is the first part. Nice wide stance, lunge deeply, side angle. Take left hand up and over, reach. Inhale. Exhale, turn. Both hands to the floor on the inside of right foot. Rise up onto tiptoes behind you. Gently set the left knee down. We're repositioning right foot. Take it to the side, step it forward, out at an angle. Let the hips sink. Get into this nice deep lunge. Come down lower if you want to. Several breaths here. Left hip, hip flexor, right inner thigh. Lengthen spine. There's even there's an energy here of like you're pulling yourself forward using your hands just to keep some extension through the spine. If you made it down to your elbows, come back up onto your hands. Tuck your toes behind you so you can lift that back knee. Weights in the hands, lift hips higher. Slide right foot back, you'll be in plank. Take a shortcut to down dog. Okay, re-extending re right leg up into the air, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. So this is that sequence we just did. Reach up, lunge low, bend left knee, come all the way down. Half split, sit back, lengthening over that right leg. Ah, there's that stretch. Left hands behind you, side plank, gate one. Reach overhead, come up. Right hand down, left hand up, gate two. Bend right knee, everything's facing forward, hands to the floor, rear line, back leg. Standing split, so we're bringing the weight forward into the front foot and hands, so we can extend that left leg into the air. Get more extension through torso, tip the scale. Bend the left knee, bring it in towards chest, foot down to the ground, weights in the heels, bent knees, chair pose. Stand tall, extended mountain, keep it moving, swan dive. That's the first side. Let's get the second side done. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose, come down. Up dog and downward facing dog. Inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist. Unwind, step it through, left foot to the top of the mat, right heel plants. Rise high, warrior one, exhale, warrior two. Right away, side angle. Left hand down, right hand up and overhead, side body stretch. Inhale, exhale, turn. Hands to the floor on the inside of left foot. Rise up onto the tiptoes behind you, set the knee down. Reposition left foot, set it to the side, creep it forward, turn it out at an angle. Let the hips sink, feel like you're going forward, getting into these legs. Stay on hands or go lower onto the elbows. Deep breathing here.
If you made it down to your elbows, come back up onto your hands. Just pulling the hips back a little bit, tuck your toes behind you so you can lift the knee. Lift the hips higher, weights in the hands so you can slide this left foot back. Plank, take a shortcut, down dog. Left leg extends into the air. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Reach high lunge low. Find it, then we'll bend right knee. Bring it to the floor, sit back splits. Hover over that left leg. Right hand behind you so we can come to our gate pose. One, come up through warrior two arms, gate two. Bend left knee, toes turn forward, you turn forward. Hands down, align that back leg, standing splits on left foot. Ah, we're just picking up that back leg. Let's get some extension through spine, rise to fingertips, get more space in the waistline, extend through leg and torso, tip the scale, heart goes down, right leg goes up. Bend the right knee, bring it in towards chest, foot to the floor, grounded, weights in the heels, bent knees, chair pose. Extended mountain, we're gonna keep flowing. Swan dive, exhale. Good, monkey. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, plank pose, come down, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. We are done with that long sequence. Let's take a seat, actually hop forward, cross legs, take a seat or kneel down, take a seat in the center of your mat, roll down onto your back. Hug both knees into chest. For a bit of a rest, check in with your breathing. You might be slightly out of breath, which would be normal, of course. After all that good movement, all that nice leg work. Okay, now we're gonna get into that happy baby pose, which is gonna be very similar to that deep lunge we did. Getting into those hips. Let's start by extending the left leg out onto the floor because we're only gonna do half happy baby pose. We're hugging right knee in towards chest, but this is when we kind of take it out at an angle. Think of how we did it when we were in the deep lunge. Foot lifted up towards the ceiling, the knee is still bent. Reach to the bottom of the foot or hold on to your ankle, press down. That's that deep stretch, might be similar to that deep lunge we did. Nice fullness of breath here. Three more breaths. Excellent, when you feel complete, you can release this foot, re-extend the leg out onto the floor. Let's just hold here for a moment, as if you're in Shavasana, so everything just comes to alignment, especially through the hips and low back. And then we'll hug left knee in directly towards chest. If we just bring it in just like this, you can you notice that it doesn't go very far. But when we turn it out at an angle and keep sending that knee back to the back corner of your mat, there's much more room. Okay, then foot towards ceiling, reach to grab the bottom of the foot or ankle. Gently press down so the knee is coming down towards the ground. And there's that deep stretch quality. And don't forget the deep breathing. Three more breaths. When you're ready, just release the leg out onto the floor. Another brief moment in Shavasana. We're gonna do a twist before we finish. This is just to realign the body. Then when you're ready, just bring knees to chest, hug both knees in. Take both knees over to left side as you extend right arm to right side. Just a few breaths here, just to get a rotation in the spine. And 
about three more breaths on this first side. When you're ready, carefully come back to center, hug the knees to chest. We're just going to pause there for a few seconds. Again, just a nice realignment. And then knees over to the right side, left arm to left side. Three more breaths. And when you're complete, just come back up to center, pause with the knees hugging in towards the chest, then extend the legs out in front, arms down by your side. We'll take the remaining moments here. Full release and relaxation, Shavasana. Check in with your breath again. Take a deep breath. Notice how your mind is bo in body are relaxing, feeling at ease. And feel free to stay here as long as you desire. Even as I end the practice, you're welcome to stay here in Shavasana. Take five slow, deep breaths when you are ready to move, just to allow energy to resurface through the body. Feel movement return to your body. And then after your fifth breath, move in slow motion Carefully roll onto one side of your body, just moving into a nurturing pose. Continuing to move in slow motion, guide your way up to seated. Find a comfortable seat. You might cross your legs here. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders rolled back, arms just down by your side, hands resting in your lap. Notice your breath. And then one more movement together. Let's inhale, reach into the sky. And exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. Just hold in stillness for a moment. Listen to the sound of your breath. As you hold here in ease, remember, take this sensation with you. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste.